Hello, my friends. My name is Elena. I'm from St. Petersburg, from Russia, and this is my first knitting vlog. I want to show you how knitters live in our country, in Russia. There are a lot of people in our country who love to knit, and we have uh, different uh, online knitting communities, and some people who are interested in uh, knitting organize offline meetings. And in St. Petersburg, we have several schools uh, that teach knitting and I study in one of these schools and I hope that I can show you uh, this school uh, in one of my videos. I'm shooting this video near my home. I don't live in the center of St. Petersburg. It takes me about an hour to get to the center. Now I'm walking on the shore of the Gulf of Finland. Today is the 4th of March and the bay is still covered with ice. You can see how people walk on the ice, but I think it's dangerous. It's cold now, but in the summer there is a beach here. Welcome to my kitchen. Uh, now this is the most bright uh, place uh, in my apartment. So. I want to show you my current projects here. Uh, now I'm wearing in my uh, striped sweater that I knitted uh, last year in the autumn uh, and I used eight colors here and I enjoy combination of these colors. Right now I need this beanie, in bright pink color for my friend. Uh, she lives in another city in Moscow, but uh, soon uh, we'll have a trip together uh, and I can give her this beanie. And last week I needed uh, same beanie for me, but in green color. My favorite color is green, uh, but uh, it's my first uh, beanie in green because I try not to use uh, green all the time because I'm afraid that uh, I uh, get tired of uh, this color. Also, I want to show you uh, this, I don't know, maybe yarn wool, um, I don't know right word in English, uh, but in Russia we call it Kubochnitsa. I made it in the keramic studio. I really love handmade things and I'm always happy when I can create something by myself. I keep my small kind of projects in it. And this is another project and uh, it's a crochet project. I don't know yet what it will be. Maybe it will be a blanket, maybe it will be a bag. Uh, we'll see. Mm. But now I like to make these granny squares and I really enjoy um, to work with so bright yarn. Uh, it's acrylic Russian yarn called Pihorka. And my third project I uh, show you later because uh, this is a sweater and I want to try it on. This is my strawberry sweater, uh, but without sleeves yet. I knitted uh, without any pattern. Uh, this is my simple design. I knitted from top to bottom uh, using this yarn. Uh, this is husky yarn, 50% uh, merino and 50% acrylic. And this color has a very beautiful name, uh, strawberry cheesecake. I want short sweater like this uh, and I'm going to make long uh, ribbon on the sleeves. Uh, so I hope that soon I show you the result. Last weekend my friends and I went together to celebrate my birthday in Karelia, a republic in uh, northwestern Russia. Uh, we went there by retro train Ruskiala Express. This is a steam-powered 
tourist train with cozy sofas and lamps. The interiors are decorated in the style of the train Nikolaev Express. We walked around Ruskiala Park, went to a spa and sauna on Lake Ladoga. Uh, the main attraction of Ruskiala is a flooded uh, marble quarry. This is a very beautiful place in all seasons. The weekend passed very quickly, and I come back to St. Petersburg. As you can see, snow has already melted. Today is the 11th of March, and I am going to knitting school. Together with my teacher, we calculated the sleeves, and I started knitting them. I'll show you a little bit of the school atmosphere. Today I'm walking and knitting in one of my favorite places, and this is a library. I really like spending time in the library. It's a very cozy place where you can not only borrow books, but also drink coffee, read, walk and knit, of course. I definitely want to finish knitting the strawberry sweater in the next couple of days and show it to you. Ta-da! So I finished knitting my sweater. Really, I was afraid that I wouldn't have enough yarn but you see, it's okay. It's a top-down raglan sweater and I made to buy two ribs on the bottom and on the sleeves. I feel very cozy and comfortable in this sweater and I love this color. But there is a chance that the sweater will be too warm for the spring. We'll see. That's all. Thank you for watching my video and in the next videos I'll try to show you uh, Russian yarn shops and maybe some uh, handmade markets and of course my knitting projects. Bye-bye.